Hey everybody, it's Mike Wardinsky with NatureMike.com and I've got a quick video today to show you how to create HDR images in Lightroom. While there are a variety of ways to create HDR images, I find that Lightroom is usually the best because it gives you a DNG or a RAW file when you're all said and done. Most other pieces of software, including Photoshop, will give you a TIFF file. So an HDR image is simply a high dynamic range image. It's a set of images that are taken at various exposures and then combined together to give you more dynamic range. So as you can see down here in my film strip, I've got a dark image for my sky, sort of a medium image, and then a really bright image um, for those deep shadow areas. Now I'm just going to select my first image, then shift click on my last image, and then I'm gonna control click on a Mac, right click on a PC, photo merge, and then HDR. So here we are in the Photo Merge HDR window, and I'm just gonna run from the top to the bottom to explain all this. First, you're gonna to wanna to check auto align. Even if you're on a tripod, your ball head might have slipped a little bit, so it's always a good idea to check that. Next, you have auto settings, which is just Lightroom processing the photo for you. So I typically leave this off unless I just need to see some of these darker areas but I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. Next you have your deghosting. Deghosting is useful for when you have movement in the frame, such as the water in the ocean, or moving branches, maybe a bus or traffic, or even walking people. The software essentially analyzes the images and reduces those artifacts from the movement as much as possible. You wanna leave this set to none unless you really need it. The reason being is as you start to add deghosting, it usually adds a little bit of color noise somewhere in the image. So I might go to low and see if anything happens. I noticed a little bit of the leaves change. I can also check the show deghost overlay so it tells me where the deghosting is happening in the image. And I'll head over to medium to see how that looks. You can see it's doing a little bit more. And I think I'll leave it here at medium. That's doing a pretty good job. Lastly, I'll hit create stack. And what that's going to do is it's going to stack my HDR image with all three of the images that I used to build it. That way it just tidies up my Lightroom catalog a little bit. And I'll hit merge. And now you see our HDR image. Now the reason these didn't stack together is because I'm in a, actually in a quick collection right now. But if I went to the actual folder, these would be all stacked together. Now, once we have an HDR image, I like to give it a marking. That way I know it's an HDR. I can just look at the, the file name right here. It says hdr-2.dng, but it makes it even easier to give it a color label. So I'm gonna go over here and choose green. If you don't see the toolbar, hit the T key to hide and show it, and then come to the right and choose color label, and you'll see these color labels. Now that we have our HDR image, it's time to process it. And I'm just gonna go through this really quick. Uh, I'm gonna take my highlights down to bring in a little bit of detail in these clouds. Maybe something like this. I might even bring the overall exposure up a little bit. Bring those highlights down a little bit more. Pop the shadows up a little bit more. And I might even pop the whites to add even just a tiny bit more contrast. So that's starting to look pretty good, but I wanna focus on this area down here. I don't want the, the shadows to be too bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a mask here. I'm gonna add a radial gradient. Just gonna click right here, drag, and drag it into the center. And I'm gonna bring up the whites to pop the, the highlights in the grass, but I'm also gonna bring the blacks down to darken those shadows. So it looks a little more realistic. And maybe I'll darken these highlights just a little bit more, maybe something like that. And that's the basics of HDR. Feel free to leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.